Great. Mm. Okay. Somebody is using Kariki Studio. Absolutely fine. Yeah. Kariki Studio is another repository where you can register yourself and create HPP content types. But then you have to be very careful when we do this. Um, it's all in the cloud, right? So when that content is um, suddenly get vanished or sometimes, uh, see all these uh, repositories, uh, open license repositories requires some kind of a funding or sustainability. That's what we call it to make it more sustainable. We started with enthusiasm. Yes. Like, okay, let's do something for teacher community because they don't have, because earlier before Lumi, there is no option for a teacher to really build the content, right? So we thought of a repository like this, but then we have to sustain it for coming years. We do have some plans to how to make it uh, more sustainable, but across the globe, there are many projects, funded projects that are happening to maintain this kind of repositories. Anyway, coming back, uh, let me share my uh, screen. Before we really start, make sure that uh, you have a, a, at least a basic plan that what kind of we are we are building a question set or a quiz we call it so it is a task based one purely task we are not presenting any content but we are building task based assessment it could be um, multiple choice question or as i showed you mark the words or drag the words or drag and drop say the image or a text so that kind of assessment we are building so just think about it uh, make keep things ready and later on when you keep when you are working with h5p okay and very soon uh, uh, me along with uh, my other colleagues mentors we are trying to write a document on h5p and lots and parts that is lower order thinking skills what kind of a content type is more suitable for higher order thinking skills which type of a content type is more suitable but then again that is just our perspective Again, it depends upon teachers' creativity, how they want to use it, right? So, so keep it in mind, lots and hearts. And also like uh, later on, not just a question set, there, there are, as I said, 50 more varieties of content types. So it might uh, demand some pictures. You, your content might demand some pictures. So if you have a content that is copyrighted, um, I mean, copyright free ones, that's fine. Otherwise, try to grab those kind of a pictures from uh, um, Wikimedia or Creative Commons site or from uh, Pixabay. Okay. So, and then make sure that you attribute them well. And one more other beauty of H5P is that it gives us an opportunity to attribute every element that we use there. For example, that is purely your own and you are creating and your or releasing with an open license, then simply you can write yourself as an author and a licensee of that particular content, right? Or if you are repurposing any open educational resource, then you can always write what kind of changes you made or how you enhanced it. That option also H5P provides. Yes, and if it is a math and uh, any science equations that you have to type, be ready with that uh, latent kind of option, okay? So let's move on. to our next slide is nothing but all these resources and examples I have given, I will share with you all. So we all know that many, uh, many of us are already uh, familiar with uh, H5P and few are first timers. So let us together slowly, sometimes we may have to unlearn certain things and again relearn. Here there are people who are using uh, Lumi desktop application so this time we will try Lumi, um, what we call uh, <clears throat> online option, okay? You all can see my screen now with the login option, app.lumi.education. Can you all see my screen? My screen is visible, but that website the tab not... is not there. Okay. Hmm. My second screen is not. Okay, now you might be able to see Okay. Or maybe what I have to do is I just have to share my. I'll just log in here.
uh, I, I know. When I share, it just suddenly it goes off. Might be internet problem. <clears throat> slow, slow connectivity. Mm -hmm. So now you can see my dashboard. You all, when you logged in, you will see your dashboard here with these uh, options, right? You can always hide this, this, uh, this left side uh, column, right? Which has dashboard, public content, my content, create content, upload your content, share links and settings, fine. So now the first thing that we are going to do is create new content. We'll click on this, okay? Let me first explain you a few steps and then I'll take a break and then you do, okay? So I clicked on, I came to my dashboard, I registered and then I logged in. I came to my dashboard and I clicked on create new content. And here, remember whether you use in Kuriki Studio, you use in uh, HVP catalog or you use in your own WordPress site or a Drupal site, or if you use in your learning management system or you use in uh, hyp.com with a licensed version, I mean, you buy a license to create author license, wherever it is, the editor is same, okay? Maybe the saving process and distribution process might be different, but then the editor will be the same, okay? So here the content is arranged either popular first or newest first or A to Z, okay? And there are, as I said, more than 50 varieties. And then if you have a, um, uh, actually a hyp.com account, you have a few more tools to really engage your synchronous uh, learners, that is online learners, um, kind of a gaming. If you are aware of Kahoot, that kind of a option content type is also available. And then, uh, Today we are trying question set, quiz that we call it. You can search here for first time users, if at all. This also I want to mention here that if you are later, you use your Lumi desktop application, you download and use it. Then what happens is like this details will come. And then uh, when you click on these details of each content type, it will ask you to install that content type. So you have to install all those content types if you are using offline later, okay? You know, offline application. Right now it is not necessary. I am searching for a quiz. So this is my quiz and question set. All of you can come to the screen, please. Uh, all of you are here. <clears throat> I can't see my chat. I don't know why. Hi, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, please um. tell me. Ma'am, uh, when I go to the create content, it's showing me uh, the content types also. Yes. Uh, with the edit option. Is it can okay you, with that? Can you see my screen? Are you on this screen? Yes, uh, yes ma'am. But I'm not able to see the, uh, the content what in your screen that is a public uh, license and all. Uh, it's showing me uh, all content types like interactive video, some... Yeah. Options uh, issue. Yeah, it is like this, it is showing, right? Like this. Can you see the screen now? The same screen is uh, continuing, ma'am. You no ma'am. What can you please tell me what you can see? I think I must uh, share my screen properly. I'm trying to. Okay. My screen is not changing. Okay. Now, if you are working on smartphones, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes, ma same, same screen is there. Yes, ma'am. Now, search for quiz. 
this okay okay <clears throat> and then click on details a beauty of this content is that every content type almost 70 percent of them got a very nice tutorials not all 100 percent of them got demos and all of them are with open license you can always reuse them download and reuse them with but but attributing them from hop.org and uh, you we can read more about this and when you click on this content demo it will take you to hyp.org's page where uh, there will be a tutorial also okay later if you have any doubts you can see there is a nice uh, screenshots given about this content type also below here right now we are doing a practical session so i'm just explaining you the screen the interface now click on this use option then you will land on this page. All of you on this page. Uh, Zakir, sir, I will go slowly. You please do it on your mobile phone. Yeah, so can I <clears throat> move forward or wait? All of you here? Yes, ma'am. Please go yeah. ahead. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So this is a, a tutorial and an example option. If you, in case in future, if you have any doubt, you can always click on that. We are not exploring each and every button here because the time is pretty short. But then it's a self-taught. Um, uh, for me, it's a self-taught. So this is a tool that you can. Uh, self-learn okay right uh, and very important point about uh, hyp content types is any content type you take it the first thing that appears under uh, that name is a title that we have to give here title of that content type next to that title there is a small button called metadata this metadata is used to write uh, if there is any license extract or if you're releasing it with the open license or you are adding authors to this content type all these details can be added in this metadata okay right now uh, i am giving title of my um, Question set. Actually, I should give like this. Okay. Okay, I have given title. Now you also give your subject. Okay, if it is a Sanskrit or Telugu, you can type in Telugu. And then you can click on this metadata. See, the title is taken here. And the rest of the options are all about license that you want to provide. Okay. So you can always provide any license that you think of if you are not using any content that is copyrighted. Okay. Then only you give these licenses. If you are using anybody else's content also, depending upon the type of license you give here. Okay. And right now I choose this. And now author name is I want to give my name. And there are role author roles that, uh, as I told you, you can add multiple people to this content type. Right now, I'm the only one author. I'll add this author option. Okay. Now I'll click on met save metadata. I clicked on metadata and gave my information. This is very useful and which will help you once it goes to OER Hub. If you are, if anybody is searching for that any content type or an author, simply it will get retrieved. Also, it's very useful to provide license extracts. Just below the title, there is a quiz introduction that if you want to provide any introduction to this particular quiz, then you can uh, provide that introduction. For example, this title, which will be displayed on top of a quiz, 
uh, that it may be a topic name or something that you can write. And then uh, you can give some introduction. Maybe introduction I would like to ask. Uh, this is a sample quiz developed with eighth grade Oh, English. Eighth grade. Yeah. English lesson from the textbook. Okay, that's about it. Okay, so this is the introduction that I have given. It's up to you. You can give or you can avoid this also. Okay, I have given quiz introduction. Remember, I started using uh, Diksha's uh, information. So I should provide that license, in, right? So in metadata, I have taken that source that is uh, from a Diksha textbook that I have taken in the Diksha portal, uh, just below, you will find that CC by, right? So I will give this license. Now, uh, background image. For now, right now, we are not using any background image as of now. Progress indicator is how you um, show them um, the next question, either as a text or a dot, like how many questions are there, you will see at the bottom, right? And then pass percentage, I'm not touching it. For now, default will keep it 50. And then you here is the option that to add questions. Somebody asked me, is it possible from Excel directly? I want to take it. It is kind of possible, sir, not entirely. Later on, right now, I'm not doing it because not everybody is tech savvy here. Later on, you please experiment with this textual option, okay, to copy and paste them. And there is a way that you do it, the multiple choice questions, okay? Right now, I'm touching it. And add a question. This is the button you will see. And then you click on question type. There are various question types that you can add around seven of them. We are trying to do multiple choice, drag and drop, fill in the blank or, or mark the word or drag the word, okay? These are all individual uh, task types that were together available in a question set. For example, a multiple choice question is one content type in H5P where sometimes the content demands that one question you add here, then you add that single multiple choice. You can you don't have to use the quiz content type. Simply you can take multiple choice option. Okay, uh, not a quiz one. Right now we are in the quiz. That is the uh, older name of this quiz is a question set. That name itself talks about that various types of questions are added here. Earlier it used to be only three types. Now it increased to seven of them. Okay, first question we are taking is multiple choice. So I clicked on multiple choice. All of you are here? I am here, ma'am. Great. Any yes. any problem for anyone? Or shall I go ahead? Go ahead, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so questions in Telugu. Sorry, sir. You shall take Telugu. Telugu. Yes. Telugu type chair, sir. Okay. I will share that link also later. I'm just saying that somebody asked me, is it possible to type in Telugu? I said, yes, it is possible. I'll also share that uh, sample quiz I developed in Telugu language. Okay. So now I added a multiple choice question. Again, here it will ask me title. Sometimes what happens is we might get these questions from somewhere. We grab these questions from somebody who developed with an open license. Then you want to give credit to them for that particular question, then use this metadata option. Okay, right now, I'm not touching. Now, um, question can have multiple choice. Question can have a media also. For example, you can have a picture or a video or an audio. For language learning, sometimes what happens is um, in a higher standard, higher classes, is that you can um, simply ask a question and then uh, uh, read out or uh, um, allowed or uh, read, uh, read aloud a um, poem or like you 
you hear this dialogue is from where and this and that or this poem is written by whom and all these kind of questions can be asked but remember accessibility matters remember to whom the, you're catering this information is going to okay make sure that everybody can will be able to um, have a there's no auditory problems and all okay so image if you want to add any image or a video and uh, again when you add a video don't upload okay when you add a video don't upload take something which is already available in a streaming media but copyright friendly ones i hope you all know how to figure out a copyright friendly videos okay either from vimeo or youtube you search for it and then take filter and take a creative commons you get a open license to videos fine fine so right now i'm not using any um, any media uh, because my subject right now is not necessary i have taken uh, as i said eighth grade telangana state the english textbook a few questions i have taken so i'm adding my question here the first question is i'm sorry so i want to ask this question um, page number 46 i think i have taken a simple question that uh, i'm trying to ask them think yeah this tab only i just i, I want to make sure that is this the tab that i am using okay i'm just copying that uh, text from that textbook and i'm using okay yeah, for for now maybe if you can type your question please directly type in your question <clears throat> so this is the question persons who go into land without permission or call i just give a blank over here you have a simple text editor here you can copy paste and then available options you can provide number of options here there are two by default given if you want to add option click on add option remember this is a multiple choice one where you can give a multi correct options sometimes and also single correct option so if it is a single correct option you just click on this correct for that particular answer if you have a multiple correct options you can select them as multiple correct boxes in each and every option fine they are called trespasses so i just give them the option and i say correct and uh, oh yeah okay and this is a correct option and uh, i will give passengers it's a wrong option i'll give another option here activists it's a wrong option you can give one more option if you want four of them so you have a uh, given one multiple choice question here sometimes what happens is uh Uh, for now maybe for our time being to save a time you can always copy this multiple choice question and then come back uh, add a question here and then paste that uh, that same question will get pasted options might be the same but the question you can always change before that let me explain you in all h5p content types there is a button called behavioral settings how that content behaves okay we have to see here each question will have a behavioral setting right so for this question you want to give a retry and a sh uh, show solution or not okay so you, you randomize the answers that means every time um, a learner accesses it the answers will get jumbled fine this is how you add a multiple choice question okay first multiple choice question second i am adding here maybe i'll add mark the words what do you mean by mark the words you can give um paragraph um and then you can ask them okay in this paragraph which of these words are uh, like uh, nouns or adjectives you can ask them to or uh, maybe if it is in a science then you can say that uh, which of these it means 
so and so acid or other name of the acid or mentioned or something like that you can ask so basically user will click on mark that particular words for every question title you please give a title to that question or remove that untitled option okay for now i'm removing here you can give a task description for example he has given this is the beauty of this tool every content type got its own example like click on the verbs in the text that follows okay he has given that and then there are some important okay, yeah. how to add answers okay so correct option in that paragraph uh, will be correct options will be always uh, under asterisks to asterisks or if you want to provide uh, uh, the answer have asterisk then how to give there is an instruction given okay and uh, remember that only words may be marked as correct not phrases remember only words okay so now um i will uh, write some click on i let me take some uh, information again from uh, diksha same question bank maybe i will take one more question from uh, page 57 or so i found a interesting one okay 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 this is an interesting one i'm taking Okay. Can you all do that multiple choice and mark the words? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Okay. Now the sentence I'm giving. The correct answer, I want to uh, keep it uh, between asterisks. Life is like a journey. Okay. And uh, behavioral setting again for this. I'm, uh, uh, every content type defers these behavioral settings. For multiple choice, it will be different sometimes. For behavioral settings of a uh, uh, um, mark the words will be different okay and then next comes drag and drop we'll take drag and drop either we can take picture based one or we can take a text based one you tell me which one to do text based or a picture based which one should we do picture based ma'am picture based picture -based. okay I know. <laughs> so now uh, there are two steps in drag and drop. Step one is uh, uh, like you can add a background image and set the settings. And when you are a little more familiar with the HYP, you can play around with step one. As a beginner, you always start with step two here directly to the task. When you come to the task, this is the interface. The first one is to add a drop zone. The second one is about the text. The next one is about the image, okay? So first we want to add images. You want to drag the images or you want to drag the text onto image? Mostly? Drag the, image, drag the images to the text. Oh, okay. Images to the text, okay? Or usually it will be like 
we give in a science or somewhere that we'll we'll give a nice yeah, the word to the yeah, generally word will be dragged to the parts of a plan yes, yes ma'am dragged to the image yeah text is dragged on to the image. image yeah so now we will add image to it from where we will take this image we will take some uh, parts of the plant or a flower uh, we will take From uh, mostly, I'll take uh, all the images from, uh, or simply we'll take uh, for now, time being. I'm taking uh, a Pixabay image, okay? And uh, I just play around with animals. I'm taking from Pixabay. Okay, I'm taking uh, two, three animals, okay, just to show you, from Pixabay, I'm taking, okay, so now I will add that image, so I'll click on image. And then I will click on add. I just downloaded from Pixabay. I'll take my line image. Okay. And then always remember when you add an image, you always provide the license details. So under uh, metadata, I want to give, this is a line image, okay? This is under public domain from Pixabay. The source I'm giving from where I have taken that information, I will be providing here. And who is the author? They will clearly say image by so-and-so, okay? So you take that name and add, okay? I'll say save metadata. And one more important setting is alternative text, which is very much required, especially for accessibility purpose. Like not everybody can see, can hear, can write, can operate the system the way we do. There are some specially able kids where they use some screen readers type, right? Or some other kind of a special softwares like braille so for the, if they don't want to they cannot see it then we have to provide some alternative text it's again a huge big subject how to write the alternative text itself we can talk hours and hours so we have to explain that picture at the same time not revealing the answer if i give alternative text as lion here if somebody is using a screen reader simply it will say lion right so you you can give for now I am just giving as lion, but then I just gave you an example how to avoid that. Okay. Now I have added an image. Once you add an image, just click on done. Okay. This is my lion image. Similarly, you give another image. Right now, I have taken um, rabbit. Okay. I have taken rabbit and again I have to provide that uh, license details of that and who is the author of that all that information I have to provide. They, they named this picture as bunny and who is the author of this bunny is I have to paste that name, Joshua Shorty. Okay. They, though Pixabay says it is not required, but it's always good gesture to attribute them, right? So I added my rabbit also. Now I say done. For now, for trial purpose, I'm just adding only two animals. Okay, fine. You can add uh, how much ever exactly it fits in, or you can simply um, add text also for example if uh, somebody uh, who wants to do only with text then what they can do they can click on this text option and then give the text
text. For example, lion, I want to give this is one text and I'll adjust this size. Okay. And you can always play around with this uh, basic uh, text editor that we have here. Okay. And uh, I have uh, one more text that I want to add is rabbit. And again, I want to center it. Okay. Adjust the size of this nicely. Okay. Now you want to either you want to uh, play around with the text or the image that whichever that you want to drag and drop right so you have to decide in this step now now you know how to add image how to add text to this canvas the next is to add a drop zone where you want to drop this exactly and then you have to name that label also uh, the drop zone okay for rabbit i want to name label as r okay and also you can click on enable auto align so that when somebody drops in, it will nicely align. And also this drop zone can only contain one element. You can click this so that people cannot drop so many elements into that box. Okay. This will be useful in another case. Unchecking this, I will show you example after that. Okay. This is one drop zone that we have created with the help of this Okay, the first button. Now I will adjust this drop zone here. And this is rabbit, right? I have created for. You can always copy this and use this paste option and then double click it and change the settings or directly click on add a drop zone. And I want to label it as L. I come down, I check these two and click on done. Okay, this is my drop zone for lion okay now we have a picture and a drop zone and then we haven't decided which is a draggable text and to which box that it should go we haven't decided the next step is that okay all of you till here very clear yes ma'am okay now i'll click on this lion now it will ask me, right? Because on the canvas, I have two drop zones which are labeled as R and L. I want to select all of them because I want to give them a gaming kind of a experience, right? It depends again on a pedagogy. Sometimes when you're dealing with a very primary level kids, first let them get used to it. Let them get to know uh, the information. Then you can say that only drop in the line so that they can only get drop in the line. They cannot drop in the rabbit. But then later a bit, little higher, then you want to confuse them, then select both of them so that they can drag this lion text into and drop it into either in R or L. But which is a correct? That is a later step that we decide. Okay, now I'll click done. See? It changed its opacity, right? You can always change its opacity here, background opacity. Now I want to keep it as is. And rabbit, I want to select all the drop zones, right? Now, which is a correct option for this drop zone, for my L drop zone? So I have to select only lion, right? So I select the option lion is the correct option. Now I say done. Now for this drop zone, rabbit is the correct option. So I have done it. Okay. Now this question is done. Three questions we have done. If you want to view this, how it looks like, you can always click on this view option. But before that, though it saves automatically, sometimes we don't know how the technology behaves. The other day I was using my, um, I think the same browser. It didn't work for me. It worked in Safari. I don't know, my Chrome is not updated. Right now, we will see how it works. We have to save it before viewing it. So I'll click on save. I clicked on save. I just came up and I clicked on save. It says content successfully saved. Then I'll click on view option. I just want to see how it looks. Okay, so this, is the, uh, this is the introduction that I have given. And this is the question that I have given, okay? And this is the third one. 
and I'm dragging. I can drop in both. Either I can drop here or I can drop here, right? If you select only one, it will only get selected only one. So now I want to edit and I want to add more questions to this. We have added drag and drop and then we have added drag the word, mark the words and similarly drag the words also you can do. Sometimes what happens is uh, for early kids, um, early classes kids, it's always better to give a phrases in a drag the words kind rather than asking them to type in. So for that, we take a drag the words. Okay. So we can take how it looks like. Let me show you drag the words. Again, I'll remove this untitled. And here nicely introduction is given here. So uh, you can actually um, give these words uh, or phrases um, in um, asterisks so that that particular thing can be dragged and dropped between that fill in the blanks kind. Instead of typing, they just use this drag and drop. You can always even give them a kind of a feedback also, immediate or correct or a wrong feedback or you can give a textual tip how to give that the instructions are given here right now we will do only a very basic one drag the words into correct boxes now we will type the text here okay let me take some text again and use it here Okay. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Am I sharing my screen? No. no. It's stopped, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sharing again. Now, can you see? No, ma'am. Not at ma'am. It's not activating. I don't know. Let me just show. Uh, let me just uh, do it again. No, I don't know. Okay, can you just uh, type in those words and then correct words into in between asterisks? I don't know why. You're able to hear me, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, not internet connectivity. My. Okay. What's wrong here? Again. Now, I shared my entire screen. Can you see now? Yes, madam. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Okay, now the next one you can give. I'm just giving those uh, meanings from the textbook. You can do more meaningful ones. Okay, so uh, in the instructions, I can say drag the 
spirit meaning into the response corresponding into the blanks we can say okay now i will see again save it and see you can view yeah so you will see these questions see drag and drops right why this is like this let's check last question I don't know what's wrong. Is there anything wrong that I'm doing? Nothing. Just display issue, maybe. Yeah, you all please do this exercise and then I will show you the next step is how to share this. See, it's a questions got randomized. How it got randomized? I told you every content type will have behavioral settings. So here we have taken a, qu a quiz that is a questions, various types of questions we have. And then behavioral setting for each question. And these settings are for the uh, behavior of this particular quiz. So I say, Randomize questions if you want, okay? You can even disable backward navigation. That means once they go forward, they cannot come back to that question. That also, you can do that. And then settings for uh, check solution and override, if you want to um, enable or disable it, you can do that. And then you can, uh, when you have a feedback, you can provide a overall feedback and for a grade range also, okay? Right now, we are not doing that. First, do the uh, default ones. Then you can experiment with others. There are nice tutorials also available. So once you do this, you please provide meta keywords for this. If it is a English or a science or something. And then you once you are given, you just save it. And then uh, you make it a public so that it is available in a public domain with this license. Okay. Then you click on a share a link. So when you click on this uh, share a link, you will have um, a text box given to you, a link name, and then show download button, embed button. That means your content type will be displayed with all these options, okay? When it is displayed with the Lumi frame means that green line will be there, where uh, in the offline version, we will see that, but in online, they are still improving it. Collect data, even if you enable this, you can see uh, uh, anonymous users uh, playing around with your content type. But then uh, maybe in your future, they will see that, they will ask you to add your picture or add your name so that uh, you will have in that exam mode, you will see all the user uh -huh. results. But for now, you can mm -hmm. use offline application to uh, see that data. I, I, I think I told you, I'll give you that tutorial. For now, we are just enabling all of them. And let's see this, how it goes. Okay, when we say save, okay, link name I haven't given. Sample quiz. And my link is generated. I'll just copy this link. As I told you, there is an assignment for you. There is still time for you. Uh, you please create this and submit this link in that assignment. For example, if I share this link with you all, see what happens and then how I can see my anonymous uh, uh, people answering this. I'll just give you that link here for you. Yeah. Okay, save button is on the right. Okay, so this is the link that I have created. So now, I told you that in the Telugu that the content that I have created, I'll give that link, the Telugu content link also I'll be giving. You can search uh, in the public uh, uh, content for Telugu, you will see mine only, three, four. 
I want to see many more like this. Okay. Ma'am, can we create in our regional language, Canada? Yes, yes, yes. You can. You can create. Okay, madam. Thank you. Yeah. Any language it supports. Unicode. Bus Unicode hona chahiye. Either you use Alagi or a Google input tools like phonetic keyboards and then you do it. Okay. So now uh, Madhavi ma'am says something, our practical one. Yeah. Okay. You are sharing it here. Okay. Ma'am, uh, I'll give you that link where to share. You please share uh, your uh, all your uh, creations there. Okay, I'll just share that link. Your assignment will be there. Okay, don't share it in the, this. Maybe one or two we can see here. But then as an assignment for today, okay, this is a, what you call a session-based assignment maybe. You can submit it here. Yeah, Ma could be a, a lot marks and time duration. You can see that uh, there is a, a feedback option, right? For it automatically scores that each one or two of the marks, it automatically scores. We just can give by the percentage that achieve. Zero to uh, 99 percent, excellent. Or zero to 100 is excellent. Or 98 to 70, whatever, very good. Or 70 to... 50 is good and uh, between 0 and 50 is like you need to work hard you give that feedback in that okay you can do that this is only one content type that we explored please go and see in hyp.org there are many more I, as i told you as many as more than 40 50 varieties are there so please explore this is only one content type that we are exploring okay so about uh, Lumi desktop application, um, I will share that link here for you. I think last time CIT people shared that uh, video. I'll be happy if anybody can um, share that video with them, if anybody is using a desktop application, okay? And also for language teachers, there is a nice uh, crossword option. Okay. So first go to Lumi. Okay. So this is an older version of uh, Lumi. So now please submit your assignments here and let me check and somebody shared their uh, um, options. That's wonderful to see. And now I want to listen from you all. Let me share my screen before I share. Okay, yeah. See, uh, who shared this? Uh, actually, they enabled uh, data collection. That's why it is giving me a pop-up like this. Okay, so I say agree. And then, sir, if you are creating a math, okay, Mahabharata lo parval in Italy lo jasaro. Fantastic. Only one. I want you to create five questions. Okay, madam. As an example, I trying and uh, I will try to do five. five. Try to do five okay. questions. Okay. Okay, madam. Good. And let us see one more. Why can't I see my chat? When I am sharing, I am not able to. Very funny. XAPI, Ravi Shankar, sir, uh, what is your subject? Is it computer science? Then definitely I can do it. <laughs> you know what is API and XAPI. And then when it talks to uh, the report, reporting, uh, report generations can easily, easily, easily be done when you integrate this with any other application, which is very easy to integrate this. Okay, I don't want to get too deep into it, but no, because not everybody is a tech savvy here. Hope there might be appreciation marks like star, etc. for correctly completed activities. In the feedback, you can provide all those, sir. And can you please repeat what is the assignment? Assignment is nothing but to create five questions uh, before five o'clock and try to uh, post it there in the link that I have given. 
Okay. And why this hands-on activity is, let me see one more. I think uh, that is Siva Siri Boina, sir. And then one more is, uh, I think uh, Madhavi ma'am also shared. I want to see that. Okay. I am sharing that with you all. Again. It's incomplete, ma'am. Sorry? It's not completed, ma'am. Just I tried along with you. Yeah, you, you mistakes yeah, are there. It. Yeah, he didn't save it. So now what I'll do is I'll just see if anybody attempted that, the one which I shared. And I'll show you. Yeah, see this, the analysis part. It is unknown user as of now. But then when you use uh, Lumi desktop application, uh, there are again actually two steps involved in it that you have to uh, export it as a HTML file and then share it with your users and their users will interact with the content and then they download and send it to you back. And then you keep all these files into Lumi Analytics and then you will see a nice analysis of it. This is, as I said, still in a budding stage. It's an open source tool, but then very powerful tool. But when it comes to reporting, you have a SaaS option or you have a LMS or a, a site that supports your H5P like a WordPress or a Drupal, then reporting options are much better over there. Okay. Before, this is what it is. When we learn about a tool, we have to think about not how the tool is functioning and then how powerful it is. Rather than first thing as a teacher, what we have to think is, how it suits to my suits my teaching learning process. Okay. So if you all are comfortable with this content type, I'm very happy to uh, get some doubts if any of you are trying any new content type here. Okay. So, okay. Okay, please give me the details about embedding, meaning and users. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, uh, let me answer that, sir, about embedding and uh, embedding option answer. Uh, multiple uh, types you can do, Rana and Jim, sir, and then, ma'am, and then uh, desktop Lumi version, how to get sharing link, ma'am, in desktop Lumi version, how to get sharing link. I told you, Girish, sir, try to do it in the online version. For today, you please do it online version. Even if you are a desktop version, what you have to do is you have to export it as a HTML file. Remember that a desktop application is local to your computer, right? If you give a link to it, we cannot access that. What you have to do, you have to give us that entire file. For example, first you save it, file, save, or then you go to file, export, and then all in one HTML file and save it as a HTML file and drop that HTML file here. But for today's assignment, try to do it online and submit that link. Okay, drag and drop and drag the word. I will come there, definitely. Okay, no problem, Divakar, sir. Okay. And somebody, Srinivas Gaud, sir, typed in uh, using uh, not a Unicode, I think, in Telugu or Tamil or a Kannada. I can't read it. Uh, select Telugu language. Uh, Telugu language that you have to use an input tool, sir, not in the application. Okay. Uh, how do you type in your laptop? Either you use it in a, uh, using a Google input tool or you use a tool called Alagi, download it and uh, use it and switch your keyboard to Telugu and then use a, a phonetic one. You know, I, I have already downloaded Anuscript name. Is it working or not? Anuscript is not a Unicode, sir. Yes. You have to have a Unicode one. Anuscript or Srilipi, these are all not Unicode ones. Even in Anuscript, I don't know these days, I've, it's been 10 years that I used and uh, it, is, uh, uh, no, it, it is not supporting Unicode then. 
is it okay you use a unicode option from google unicodes yeah like even in anu script when you type it there is a tool online available to convert the text into unicode okay simple ah how will i share sentil sir once you created online i showed you after saving it uh, share a link option is there i hope you followed it i again once again i'll show and two doubts i have to clear i have to talk about embedding and then sharing and drag and drop somebody is not clear about it so i will share right away my screen these three i will answer okay uh, where is that uh, today's question yeah this one we have created once you create a sentence so this is for you you save it and then click on share a, a link option once you click on a share a link it will ask you the name to the link okay and then you enable all the options for now okay it's it's up to you whether you enable or disable it for you to experience this uh, analytics part of it i told you to enable all of them and also attributing that this content is developed from h5p and also embed option what do we mean by embed option let me uh, show you somebody asked me about embedding embedding is nothing but uh, your uh, if your site supports iframe we call it in technical language any content can be um, added like uh, in a book we add a page right we, as a gum and then uh, use a gum and uh, use it uh, extra paper in the notebook similarly on a website on a web page Uh, on a html page you want to embed some content then simply click on this embed option and it will give you code and i think this is a bug they are very soon they are going to fix it especially i see it in mac browsers i don't know how it is working in windows this should reflect the embed code here then copy that and paste it on your site if it is not reflecting here please wait uh, they are going to fix it and then you can use it or if you are using it in a wordpress or somewhere like uh, you take hyp catalog once i think they all have a embed option uh, or few of them have and you, when you click on this right so views you will see all these attributions right and then reuse button i told you all hyp contents can be easily reused you click on reuse and then you can download this content file but this will be a hyp file you cannot simply open it in the browser only output is you can open in the browser but then what uh, you can do with this downloaded h5p file either you can open it in your any h5p editor that is either in your site that supports h5p or in a lumi online application or in your lumi desktop application okay this is about embedding and uh, downloading and uh, about to drag and drop i think i have to clear let me see chat box more questions in mcq sitaram sir you have taken multiple choice question content type not the quiz content type right let me just uh, explain you where you went wrong okay let me go it's not wrong it's just out of uh, curiosity um, you might have taken it mcq there is a multiple choice option also multiple choice right you please read when you click on details you can create only uh, multiple choice questions sometimes only one right if you want to create different types of questions more number of questions uh, or you you want single choice set then you can add more multiple choice questions or if you want to take different types of questions in one go then you take a question set slow and steady explore all these and they have all have, they all have tutorials okay now let's come to drag and drop option let me explain the drag and drop where can we find the preview option ma'am Okay. This is the there is a view on top next to edit. There is a view. Can you see this, ma'am? View. Can you see my screen? 
Yeah. Click on but, that. Uh, for me, it is showing empty one, empty screen. Why mm -hmm. I don't know. What is it showing? It's an empty screen, ma'am. Then, then I save my questions. It's not so showing. Can you see these uh, questions like this in your page? Uh, will you be able to share your screen if I stop? Yes, ma'am. Actually, it is showing in edit mode, but in view, I cannot. Uh, okay, ma'am. Are video. you using the latest browser? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, tutorials for further, sir, I am sharing uh, entire uh, links in my presentation, Canva presentation itself. In the last slide, you can uh, use that maybe just after this, uh, maybe right away I will share. Or oh, maybe, uh, Madhavi ma'am, please share your... Uh... Yes, ma'am. In hyp.org got all the tutorials. Please go to hyp.org and then you will see in examples and downloads all the tutorials. Most disabled participant screen sharing. Ah, okay. Uh, CIT team, support team, can you help us to share the screen, please? Uh, Madhavi, ma'am, uh, from? Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh, okay. Telugu Yes, ma'am. So, um, please, uh, CIT team, can you help her to share the screen? Uh, Senthil, sir, which link? I have given the Canva presentation. And, okay. Okay, uh, drag and drop, I'm explaining. I'm coming there. Will the downloaded quiz work offline? Sir, um, you can download a H5P file, right? But then you need a browser to view it, right? You, it's not a uh, outcome um, exported uh, uh, the, the 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 outcome of that material. So if you want to do that, you have to open it in Lumi application and then export it as a HTML file. Then it will work offline. Okay, ma'am. Sure. Okay. Export it as a HTML file. Okay. Sure. Downloaded file from here is a HHP package file. Okay. So, when, Madhavi, when yeah. sharing to the what students WhatsApp, then I should share in HTML file. Then, yes. Yeah. Okay. Or you can share this link, but okay, you if your students are not online. That's what you meant, right? Yeah, ma'am. If they don't have access to internet, suppose there is. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Then, then yeah. Then for a practice purpose, you can create this kind of quizzes and uh, give them as a HTML files. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Most disabled participant screen sharing. Uh, okay, Madhavi ma'am. I don't know. Maybe it's because uh, your browser version, you please check. And uh, also, uh, you please uh, download a Lumi desktop application and work on it. Yes, okay. And then uh, see how... Uh, it behaves. Or what you can do is go to public content. I'll show you. I'll, and then I'll also explain this uh, drag and drop somebody asked. Which screen I'm sharing? I don't know. I'm sharing my screen. Okay, can you see this, right? Can you see yes, this, right? Go yes. to public content once and then try to search for uh, search content, any whatever your subject. For example, here I'm searching for Telugu. Few Telugu things will come because I just created these. So you just try to view them. Okay. If, if it is a view problem or whatever the problem, you will 
see it. Okay, drag and drop question. Then uh, let us see. I will clear your drag and drop uh, things because uh, there are three steps involved in it. Don't get confused. First thing is we have to decide what to drag and then where to drop. Okay. In your mind, the plan is very much required. I go to task and then here that when I asked, everybody said the text to be dropped on the picture or near the picture, whatever it is. For example, here I have taken two animals. You, you can take a big leaf picture, cross section of a leaf or a cross section of a stem or something else. Then you can create these drop zones on that image. Okay. And then draggable text options. When you see there are two steps. One is draggable and then drop zones. For draggable options, you have to decide whether a user can drop that item in any box or only one box. I have chosen it as they can drop in any box. Later, I'll tell whether it is correct or wrong. Or you can hint them, okay, this is the right option. So that in that uh, options, you can select these uh, drop target labels. Whenever you create any drop zone, you have to give a label to it so that you can identify where to drop this. See, these are the two labels that I have given for these drop zones. See, this is a L label for this. The correct option is lion for this. So I have taken correct element is lion to drop over there. Am I clear, sir? Any more uh, Okay, Rajesh sir, I'll show you. Uh, Srinivas God, I, let me uh, tell you, let me tell you, sir. Somebody asked about drag and drop. Satchinarayana Rao Shivaraju, sir, and somebody else also asked me about drag and drop, not clear. Is it clear now, sir? Okay. Uh, is it clear? Good enough. You can unmute and say, okay, you're doing along with me. Okay. Okay. So there are two steps, sir. Like first you decide the drop zone. Okay. And then draggable text. Later, you select all the where to drop them. And then later go to again the drop zone and which is a correct option. Only that you mark it. Okay. And yeah, uh, P. D. Rajesh, sir, saved. Us, uh, I mean, shared. Okay, four. Wonderful, sir. Uh -uh. Rhyming words. Click on the rhyming words of cool on the way to school. What you did is, sir, let me show you. Let me share my screen. So when I explain you, maybe you will uh, um, get it better. See, there is nothing to get shy away, but you have to share and then only we will learn as together we'll sometimes even I learn from various perspectives. So it's a rhyming word for a, a paddle. Okay, saddle, correct. And on the way to school, you should give this school in asterisk, sir. Okay, so that it will be a clickable option. You don't have to give down here. Okay. Okay, now, uh, I don't know why you haven't marked this. Just I'll try to download and then I will reuse it and see where you went wrong. I'll show you. Do, go and zoo. Okay. Okay. Fill in the missing words. Eating food, I wash my hands. Oslo is the capital of, okay. Sir, here you have to provide hints, right? When you give like this. Fill in the missing words and then or you can give just below that all the words to be uh, if it is a primary ones or you should say that fill in the missing adjectives or whatever that you have to provide. Let me open that and show you in an offline application or even in your uh, Lumi online you can upload this content. Once you download it you can upload it there and you can open it. Right now, I want to open it in an offline application because somebody wanted to see how this offline looks like. Okay. 
Okay, uh, I think I have to share my screen. I am sharing my screen. Can you see, sir? Yeah, I think you can. Okay, this is the first question and mark the words. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes, sir. Uh, please check uh, one smiling. Uh, so many doubts. Please clear. Sure, sir. Your name, sir. I'll. Uh, Vice Raj Venkatraman Raj. Okay, I'll sure, sure, sir. So here there is. A, I think uh, whoever uh, gave me this school one. I am explaining that. Click on the rhyming words. This is a task description. We are telling. We are not giving them the uh, text here. So it's only click on the rhyming words of cool. And then on the way to school should come here in the text area. Okay. And then school will be between asterisks. Okay. Now we will view it. See. You, you understood, sir, what where it went wrong? I hope I'm clear on this. Right. So whenever you create something like this, you save it and you click and then file. From there, you take export and then you get this pop-up. I hope you all can see this pop-up. Somebody asked me how to do it offline. Then click on all-in-one HTML file and click on include reporter so that your users can send you back and you can see that link. Okay. Then export now so that you can save it as a HTML file. Okay, so I will add the, uh, there is one uh, simple, uh, I think Shalja ma'am asked me to give some links in tea time. I have given some links. You can either ch save the chat or uh, in the my Canva presentation itself, I will add these links, how to uh, analyze, uh, how to download that Lumi file and analyze it. There is one small document I've created. I will use it. So now I will see somebody else asked me, um, some doubts are there. Okay. Raju, sir. Um, where are you, Raju, sir? Where is your link? Can you please? Sir, can you paste that link again? I'm not seeing in the chat. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have to sh share the screen. Okay. Okay. So, Manartha, A Sandhya Nadiyar Miru. Okay. Okay, the question at Jesaru, and then you, 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 you gave this option. Nama Vachakalni Gurtin Chandi and Naru. Fine. This is question three. Chinta ko anadi savana dirka sandi. This is fine. Okay, unless you do this, you, they cannot move. And then, uh, okay. What do you want to do, sir? I didn't understand. Okay, savana dirka sandi kinda a word el tundo adi petal sare na drag and drop cheda on kunt nar mere. Auna? Savana kinda sandi petal. Ha. So, Mirikanaku, a link itchna pudu, only enable chesunte. I would have downloaded that and I would have showed you. Can you just share, reshare the link with a uh, reuse option enabled? Enable all of them. When you click on share a link, it will ask you, give a link name and then download it and I'll open it for you. Okay. Rakhi Singh. Okay. Let me see yours. I don't know. I'm not able to open this. Anybody else can open that? Chandrasekhar. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Ravi Shankar uh, uh, stopped supporting to host H5P files because of cost of handling. Yeah, obviously. And uh, in the long ago, would Lumi is also stop its support to host H5P files. As of now, they released Lumi software as open source as a desktop application to create. First, they announced it is a interactive content, sir. Then later, they said that first, H, uh, only H5P. Later, they developed this Lumi.education. Whatever you do it, 
yes that will be shared as an open license maybe slowly they charge you but then as i said h5p is an open source one either you depend on free resources repositories or if your school environment is supporting like for example diksha uh, portal is supporting h5p so you, you can create over there or h5p catalog or a curriculum or somewhere you go there and then create okay so these are all open source projects yeah um that i don't know whether they stop or they support but then as far as i know ma'am small doubt yeah ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ మనం చేసేటువంటి ఉంది కదా దీన్ని మనం ప్రివ్యూ చూసుకోవడం కదా హౌ టు షో దివ్యూ ఓకే యు క్లిక్ ఆన్ ద వ్యూ సార్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ద వ్యూ ఆన్ టాప్ దెర్ ఇస్ అడిట్ అండ్ వ్యూ ఆప్షన్స్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ ద వ్యూ మీరు క్లిక్ వ్యూ మీద క్లిక్ చేస్తే యూ విల్ సీ బికాస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు టెల్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ సో దట్ అదర్స్ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ మ్యామ్ మ్యామ్ ఓన్లీ ద రిజిస్టర్డ్ యూజర్స్ కెన్ గెట్ ద get their name in our login so yeah. actually, actually i have shared a link that uh, i got the response but from unknown user like uh, came yeah up. that is what i explained you okay. when you create in lumi uh, offline application there is an option to analyze the results with a user name okay, okay. Um, they, they can download and uh, their interaction with their name and they send you back but then in online version they haven't uh really updated that option yet but very okay. soon they will update it okay That's sure sure explained you earlier sure thank you yeah. okay sitaram yadav and sachinarayana shivraj sir okay uh to create create a mathematical expression sir uh, if you are teaching uh, early childhood mathematics there is a wonderful content type automatically it can create you please explore arithmetic quiz please sir i think uh, who is this this is satyanarayana shivraju sir yes uh oh, madam yeah i got something wrong at drag and drop okay i will i will arithmetic quiz please uh, try such narendra sir okay let me see drag yeah. and drop let me see drag and drop where i don't see drag and drops here in your question bank the three questions i prepared madam okay something wrong Among the with... drag and drop is Uh, yeah, but, when I'm placing elephant exactly at elephant box, it is showing wrong. Okay, so maybe you haven't defined that. Uh, again, I'll explain you. You wanted elephant uh, as a picture, and then draggable object is. Um, I'll come, Rekha, ma'am. Draggable object is your text that is elephant. so what you have to do is how many uh, options are there to drop zones how many drop zones are there sir madam two drop zones uh, are there madam you have created so for elephant yeah. which is the correct drop zone so for that you have to select uh, click on the elephant text and select both the labels and then come to drop zone of the elephant where you want to drop and then double click on that drop zone and select the correct option that is elephant for you now it will come ah uh, uh, okay madam i will try it okay. yeah try thank it. you ma'am yeah. rekha ma'am uh, go to uh, if we are if at all you are using lumi desktop application desktop application not online then click on file first you save your work and then click on export okay then you save it as all in one html file if it is a desktop application ah oh, girish sir finally you came online wonderful you are using already a desktop application ah oh, which language is this sir how beautiful it is with hints wow i want to share this kannada i did in kannada madam ah good good sir good see sir tried not only in another language 
but also gave some hints for this. I cannot read. Amlavu litmaso ragadanno bananni tirigisuttada. I can read in Telugu, but I don't know Kannada. So some hints he has given, he tried. So how did you find it, sir? Yeah. So it is good. So these are the options that while sharing the link that you enable. If you don't want these, then you can disable all of them. Then Lumi bar won't be there. This won't be there. This won't be this one. But it's always good to share with this because this is where we are creating right we are using this so this software so it's good that we attribute them okay now let me see the chat once again madam this is such an of shivraj once again yes sir mm -hmm. uh, i made it madam uh, that uh, that was fine now uh -huh. with me uh -huh. so madam okay. one more dot when i save uh, after doing these all adjustments uh, i i saved this work but mm -hmm. when I am asking for share a link, it is mm -hmm. creating a new link. So yeah. in the previous link. Earlier it used to be like same link we used to edit. Now what they did is, yeah, new link it will ask you. That's why link mm -hmm. name it is asking. For example, you want yeah. to give uh, this link with all the download, reuse and all options. You create a new link for that, sir. But remember that old link right. is name also but soon they'll give you to delete that older links okay that means madam each time when we make some changes a new link will be created for the updated topic updated content if you want to create a new link yes if you update it yes yes for now okay, thank you very soon they may, they might change it okay somebody shared this wonderful one let me share it Whose is this, sir? I forgot. Raj Classroom. Okay. Artificial fabric. And also they tried with um, dragon drops. See the highlighted options you can see. He used highlights. Right? You can see that it is highlighting. Sir or ma'am, when rights of use, when I see, I'll see. Okay. There, you didn't provide uh, any uh, um, usage rights of these pictures. Please don't take here. I could see that this is from somewhere in Google. You picked it up. Whenever you want any images, please take from Wikimedia and attribute it or from Pixabay attribute it. Right? You take a copyright friendly images. Don't just take the images whatever you want but it is an excellent try i really appreciate sir in such a small span of time which is good i really appreciate it. yeah thanks ma'am. these all uh, copyrighted images i, I filtered yeah. in the uh, google uh, then i collected that one no please don't use it go to wikimedia or a pixabay and use them and give them attribution also okay, okay? sure thank you thank you okay now, any more uh, doubts on anything? Um, yeah, with clues, yeah, okay. Okay, sure, sir. I will check, I will check. Siva uh, Siribu, no. Okay. Ah, ha, ha. My dream of creating open educational resources in Telugu. If you are all willing to do this, I'm very happy to build. But then whenever we are doing, we should not reinvent the wheel. Already available things, we should not do it. We should try to make an open educational resource with an open license, which is useful for everybody. So that for other, some teachers, we all know that educators, as educators, there are some schools with one teacher handling three classes where uh, the time they will get to create this kind of thing. So if you release with an open license, they will simply use them, right? Reuse them, repurpose them. Excellent. Now, next one. Okay. Ah, here again, uh, who did this? 
please uh, don't do these uh, screenshots and all. Huh? You please uh, nicely you uh, Sunish, sir. Okay, Gomati. Uh, Madam, I created drag and drop but cannot move on to the text next step where save sharing. Stuck with it. How to save and share. There is a save button on the right. I'll share. I don't know who created this. This just simply took a screenshot of it. When you create certain things, try to do with, uh, like, for example, you create a really nice one. You are, remember, you are doing in a public, right? So create a better ones. Don't just uh, do it for me or for the sake of assignment. Just do it for, uh, like, you utilize the time well. Your time, my time, everybody's time, right? It is valuable. When you create it, create it with passion and which is a usable content. Okay, now my content and then somebody asked me about, mm, there is a sample. Okay, the save button is on your right, ma'am, here. If you are using a mobile, then these things might move down. Uh, can you see the save button, ma'am? The problem is whenever I am sharing my screen, I'm not able to see this chat box. Yeah. Can you please show me the view option on your screen, ma'am? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is the view option. This I'm not getting, ma'am. Did you try with the offline uh, or did you try with the public content? Take, for example, this content. Are you able to see these? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Or go to uh, my, uh, you search for Telugu, for example, and uh, click on any of these and try to download it and try to uh, go to your dashboard and uh, upload content and see whether that view is possible. Okay, what is the issue we, will, we can figure out. Okay, Lata ma'am. Ma'am, I tried the way you told just now. It's okay. working fine, but oh. uh, if I try with my browser, I'm unable to view, uh, check in the view option. Which browser you are using, sir? I tried in Safari as well as Chrome also. Okay. What is the issue? View option is not coming. View option is there, but unable to view the content which I have uh, created. <laughs> Can I, it'll be nice if CIET team permits them to share the screen because it's always a learning experience for me too. <laughs> Where we are going wrong. I think I might have made some mistake while saving. I don't know what exactly. Somewhere, yeah. Did you get that triangle the error the, with the exclamation mark while saving? Sometimes it happens. No, no, no. No? Then I just, actually, I, then just tried, I just tried downloading your content and uh, huh. uploading. It's working. Ah, that is what I want to make sure that your browser and your system is supporting the content type. Okay. So yeah, so exactly. Your browser is supporting, your uh, system is supporting, yeah. your content somewhere you are making it have some issues. So we yeah. have to see that. So I want to. Excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Request Please somebody. once explain about drop and uh, down. Yeah, you drag and drop, right? Yeah, uh, drag and drop. Yeah, I will do that. Lata, ma'am. Bankula Jati Karana, only one question you prepared. <laughs> Try practicing others. Okay. Five questions you make. Okay. Now let me share my screen. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Even after the session, HYP got a wonderful tutorials. Okay. 
or my name at gmail.com is my mail id it's there in my presentation where i share and uh, yeah so let's go to drag and drop once the same example i will show you so that you won't get confused yeah okay I told you that there are three options like drop zones we have to create and draggable items. Whether draggable items are your images or your text, it's up to you. Okay. Now you have these drop zones created. When you create a drop zone, you first give a label to it. That is the first step. There is no hard and fast rule that first you have to create a drop zone, then you have to create a draggable items. It's up to you. But then don't forget, like for example, I have created two drop zones and I have given the labels. To, for example, now see, I'll create one label here. Okay. And I say, okay, and done. This is one drop zone. Fine. Now, when I click this, just it is showing. When I click this lion and rabbit, and then these are my draggable items. I told you that you have to select all the drop zones, then it will get highlighted in the drop zone area to make you mark which is a correct option. Let me also make this select all. Yeah. Now you see, right? You see this option. You might be missing this option. So whenever you create any drop zone, first you give a label and forget it. And draggable item, you make sure that you uh, you want them to uh, drop in any box. Then you select all of them. But then for a drop zone item, there is only one correct option. And one more thing I told you that I will explain about. This drop zone can only contain one element because here we have only one element. See, okay. Let me make sure that it is all correct. Okay. This is rabbit, correct. Okay, so we, we, here we have only one box to drop in, right? Imagine if you have content that you have to drop in many words. For example, you take this example. You take this example. I have given for non-Telugu viewers, this is like uh, Barakadi. And then uh, this is uh, O O or Telugu me au bhi rata hai, O O au rata hai. So, is my mene drop zones. I have given a drop zones. Okay. This is a drop zones that I have given. But for this item, I haven't uh, said that it only can contain uh, one uh, item. Let us see. We edit and see that how it got. See. If you see that, this is the drop zone that I have given. Okay, when I click the drop zone, all the correct options I have marked. See, I unchecked this because it's a big drop zone box where I want few words to be dropped in and then I want to be auto aligned. That means uh, display as a stack, right? And then this drop zone can contain only one element. I didn't check that so that you can drop as many words as possible. Am I clear on drag and drop? Somebody please mute. Okay, Rohini ma'am. Parameshwara Chari, okay. Sir, I'm checking yours. Parmeshwar Chari, sir, I cannot see anything. It's not displaying any link in a, nothing it is I can see. Okay, that's your answer. Okay. Rohini, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, I have a small doubt, ma'am. Can, can, I, can I ask you? 
yeah yeah please ma'am after completing all this work okay ma'am i i i will be comfortable speaking in telugu to you ivanta work chesin tarata download chesi manam pillalaki ela pettal madam ee exam nenu pillalaki ivvali anukuntanu okay uh, first of all idi only this is only for a summative purpose as of now don't give as a uh, sorry uh, for a formative purpose don't give as a summative purpose am i clear on this yeah okay ma'am only ma'am formative ga ichukondi so if you have any environment learning environment meer appudu andlo create chesukochu pillalki ivachu you can give them uh if you don't have uh, but you want to use it offline and also you want to analyze the results what you can do is if you want to give them only for a practice purpose you simply give them a link okay but then it doesn't work for me i need a offline also i want to see how they are using it right so for that ma'am for now ipudiki unna option right now is to take a lumi desktop application okay desktop application okay I'll share the video okay. and then uh, upload your work as a html file give them they work on that and there will be a small down arrow button for them they will click on that they will uh, write the name and then give send it to you you take all that files and put it in the lumi analytics that is available in the desktop application as a button over there okay meer appudu val analytics oh, and am i clear on this sir idi okati idi actually ga practical ga sir chesi check cheskovali madam yes so what you can do is put clarity ostundi yeah what you can do is let me share my screen this is a offline lumi application that i have downloaded okay first time when you are using it you make sure that uh you download all the content types okay then you can go offline then you save your file from file and save and then from file you click on export and then take this all in one html file and then show include reporter enable it and click on export now so i will export this as a html file see it will ask me okay you save it as a html html file okay you give them that file then you open that file and see for example let me open that and uh, share can you see my screen sir here html file yeah ma'am yeah it's clear can you see this no i think that's not the screen that i am sharing let me share with you no yeah you can see this screen right there is a down arrow here so when i complete my interactions i will give my name your student will give and then download that interaction file don't worry they can't edit this file at all okay then they will send you this okay. file back then they can send you the file to you what you do with these files okay. is you put all these files in one folder okay let me share uh, okay okay i'm i'm just creating one folder here and then i'm adding that whatever file i downloaded into that madam right? screen struck in madam oh na okay screen kan padu okay 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 i'm i'll share my entire screen yeah so what i'm doing is i am just trying to create one folder new folder i'll say lumi files okay and uh, i will add whatever the file downloaded file i have this downloaded file i'll put it on the desktop let me go to yeah idi naaku students students sent me a file this dot lumi file i added yeah. all the lumi files into this for example now i'll come to my lumi application okay when you open this you have two buttons hyp editor and lumi analytics you click on this lumi analytics and then choose the folder that you have all the lumi files for now i have only one file i see this because i didn't attempt that i just downloaded it it's a very basic okay. analysis sir by the way okay they are going to build it 
much better way. In online also, you can see that analysis part nicely in a graphical representation. But then uh, as of now, it is showing as unknown uh, user. Maybe they come up in the future. Okay, this class, this orientation oh. is basically about to introduce you all with the latest and a very powerful interactive tool called H5P. And uh, I'm pretty sure once you know this, um, huge software is like uh, Articulate Storyline or Captivate or anything. The purpose behind that is only thing is to interactivity. But then at what level, the degree that varies. The the But the theory behind this is the same for interactive tools, okay? So uh, learning an authoring tool is a boon actually. Okay, okay. Mark the words. Okay, Rekha ma'am, you're not there in the class or what? Custom drop zone in different shapes. Okay, drop zones are always um, as of now in that rectangle. But then uh, when you really do image hotspots, okay, there is one more content type called image hotspots. There you might have the option of oval and all, okay? Yeah. Uh, Florentia, please check, ma'am. Okay, I will check it. Uh, mark the words, I will explain. And uh, let me check this. You can even uh, give a... <laughs> That's what I told you, ma'am. When you create, create a nice assessment, okay? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, flashcards in Lumi. Flashcards in any HYP materials is like uh, you have an example of a flashcard in that version also in a catalog. Please go and see flashcard use. Usually we use flashcards in a, a, a primary level, I believe. But of course, there are uh, teachers who are using even in higher up, a higher level, where to for a lower order thinking uh, or that level skills, where you can provide them with a, a remembrance or stuff like that. You can give them some option, and then the meaning of that with the audio can be behind that card, right? So you can see those examples in hvp.org. Before uh, we really go offline, I want to answer one more query here about. Uh, uh, mark the words. Okay. Let me share my screen about mark the words. I hope I am sharing the correct one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to the same content type again. I'll explain you mark the words. Remember? In uh, mark the words, I believe only words can be marked, not the phrases, okay? See, see uh, the instructions are clearly given here. First, we have to write the task description. And then in, inside this text box, we have to give your uh, paragraph or a sentence, answers in a asterisk. Remember, these answers will be only um, uh, words. Um, uh, what I meant is that uh, not phrases, okay, not two, three words together. It's only one word can be mark the word. The name itself says, right? Am I clear on this, ma'am or sir? Okay, Rohini, ma'am. But please do that, uh, uh, upload that. Oh, wonderful. Ninth class biology, world of living. Ah, she really worked hard, but for only one question. Let me see rights of use. Ma'am, uh, you haven't given any rights to any pictures that you used. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm working on it, ma'am. Well, yes. well, my problem is uh, when I go to view mode, uh, all the three questions are not coming um, one after one. I don't know where I have to do that settings. You, you have uh, added only one question, ma'am. Here also. Uh, I can three see. questions. Three questions I have made, ma'am. One MCQ and uh, one uh, fill them, uh, fill in the blanks type. And uh, this is third one, what you are sharing. Yeah. Uh, but then uh, I believe 
Okay. Let, me, let me see this. Okay. What happens is sometimes when you create, you forget that to add all the details over there. For okay. example, for MCQ, just recheck once again. Okay. Uh, for multiple choice question, when you add, there is no issue at all. No browser issue, nothing. Make sure that everything you filled, all these red asterisks once. You made okay. sure that correct option is checked. Please okay. add that. Okay. And okay. whenever you use uh, any images, please take a copyright friendly one. Don't. Yeah, hey, ma'am. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So, any more doubts? Fill in the Ma'am, is the Ma'am, one more doubt, madam. E e tutorial and the Mako and the bottom to the madam Taravata further. Yes, to work it on it again. Yeah, yeah, I think CIET provides all the links of the workshops. If I'm not wrong, somebody from CIET team, please answer this. Yes, I think it is available because I remember people are saying that there are past tutorials are also available in workshop uh, website. Okay, and don't worry, this there is no secret behind this. And uh, it is all open source, happily available online, all these tutorials. But whenever you learn any about a new tool, think about in a pedagogical aspect. Okay. Okay, madam. Yeah. Uh, duration, not yet possible, Sitaram, sir. But uh, there are uh, some uh, code gimmicks that you can do with the code, uh, with the timing. Okay. Uh, but then it is not properly working as of now with these options. Uh, let me tell you, in a SaaS solution, you have a better uh, reporting and then all these options. First, they launch in a SaaS one. That is software as a service. When you buy that, uh, uh, they host that for you online and then they do it. Okay, fine. Uh, I can always help you at any uh, doubt you have. You can always mail me and mentioning where you are from and uh, stuff like that. I can always answer your queries. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, fill in the blanks. Satyana sir, fill in the blanks is about, uh, uh, let me, it's, it's there, sir. Uh, I don't have to really explain. The tutorials and all are very well uh, connected or given add a question and fill in the blanks and uh, here you would give the task description the instructions are given here blanks how to give and then asterisk for the correct uh, word or a phrase you put it in between asterisks and if you want to uh, give an alternative answer you can give a slash for example in language sometimes uh, in english or french uh, the pronunciation could be the same with the two kind of uh, uh, spellings right so then you can use it and then you can have a textual tip so you if you want to give a tip to that particular uh, um, phrase then you can use this colon in front of the Tip. See here, example is given. Oslo is the capital of Norway. Norway is um, in asterisk. So that is the answer. If you want to give a, a, a hint to this, just after Norway, before asterisk, give a colon and then give it starts with N. Okay. And also give a slash and give a, a small letters Norway. Uh, Satsnana sir, am I clear about fill in the blanks? Please self-explore. Thank you so much. So if not in email, I have given and also I shared my presentation. I think CIH will also uh, share my presentation. Um, please save the chat. You can see my Canva presentation over there. And uh, yeah, anytime, any help is available in hyp.org always. And my tutorials are also there in YouTube. You can check it out. Okay. In the most help files I shared, um, you can see that all the content types with the image hotspots created in HYP itself on a HYP help file. I have shared in the Canva presentation. You please see that. Okay. On this note, I think if not any more doubts, we can close. Okay. Can I ask you some doubts regarding yes, Moodle? Yes, please, Madhu, sir. I just want to ask you some re doubts regarding Moodle. Okay. Yeah, please. Can I ask you later through mail? Yeah, please, please, you can, you can. Okay. Yeah, thank you. 
Ma'am, what is the, the you told that uh, Luminex something desktop uh, uh, desktop app uh, something you told no madam we can use it. Yeah, when you go to Lumi online, it clearly says you want to use offline or you want to use a cloud option, right? So you can you are Telugu sir. Shall I explain in Telugu? I am telling him how to yeah, download. Yeah, madam. Telugu. Uh, Lumi application. So I'm, I'm explaining him how to download. You, uh, first, I'll tell in English. It go to Lumi dot education app. It site itself before you register. You see before you log in, there is a download option for Mac and Windows. You can choose your Windows version and download. Remember, you need a 64 bit uh, machine. Sir, Miru uh, app lock will not do Akadamiru before login. I tap today Akadamiku download options. Unai uh, Mac version of Windows option. Kuda Windows kuda latest item in Microsoft Store niche download chess coach. Like put a other option exe file is also given to you, but uh, me can't ante a machine 64 bit machine computer. I undali ante. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. So thank you, ma'am. I'm back with you. Monica, ma Hello, ma'am. How, How are you? you <laughs> I'm good, ma'am. Sorry, uh, I couldn't join uh, today. No in the problem. beginning. I always enjoy a CIET workshops. <laughs> I learn a lot. I listen from them. I clear my doubts. I always love to share my knowledge, how much ever the little I know. I want to see these teachers to flourish and then a CIET to be one of the pioneers in uh, creating a revolution in ed tech, in school education, not just in India, all over the world. I really wish that. Sure. Thank you so much. And thank you for this uh, wonderful uh, interaction. I could go through the chat also and I can see how everybody liked it. Uh, also being the language uh, uh, comfort they have got through you in this session is also lovely because support of their own uh, native language is also always a always good, go, good to go thing. So thank you very much for enlightening all the participants on this very interactive tool, which we all are of, uh, I mean, which we all basically love and easy to create. I mean, the content, it is very easy to create content using this kind of tool. Yes. So, uh, dear participants, now you must have realized the, till now, whatever you have created in the morning, say, for example, you've created a concept note or you've created an infographic, now you can make it interactive. Yes. Right? So, yes. in the infographic, you can add either assessment items or you can add explanation videos with them so all that you can play so basically now your thought starts with how you are going to merge two types of resources together and bring out a new one with your own knowledge and implementation of this excellent so, yes thank you and thanks to all the participants for being so patient and very very interactive uh, participants and very great questions you have been asking so that's uh, Thanks to all uh, for uh, this session. And now I would like, uh, ma'am, I'll just take a few, inform share a few informations with them. Please. Thank you uh, once again uh, for this lovely session. Thank you, ma'am. So may I log out? Yes, ma'am, you, you are allowed. <laughs> I have a bad cold. <laughs> yes, yeah. I, could, I could make out because during